Cryptocurrencies are a $1.2 trillion market today, more than doubling from its $566 billion peak in 2017. Since the crypto boom, Bitcoin has dominated up to 90% of the market share. But nowadays, it's more like a mere 63%. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. And maybe, just maybe, Bitcoin isn't done shrinking in the market domination just yet. For years now, crypto enthusiasts have awaited the flippening, which is the point at which another cryptocurrency overtakes Bitcoin in size and value. Hi, my name is Joy from Studio Invest. In this video, we're going to make a case for why Ethereum can surpass Bitcoin in 2021 and beyond. But before we get into the flippening, let's quickly recap crypto's bull run in 2020. Just last year, cryptos were sitting on a $237 billion market cap. So what's been driving up the prices? Well, there are multiple factors really. But one of the primary ones is crypto's burgeoning adoption by institutional investors. Public companies like MicroStrategy, Square, and Tesla have converted a combined $2.6 billion of their balance sheets into Bitcoin. Just the fact that Tesla put 8.3% of their cash into Bitcoin to maximize return on their cash is a huge deal. Now, you must be thinking, why would I invest in Ethereum if all these big institutions believe in Bitcoin and Elon Musk is tweeting about Dogecoin. Well, there are three reasons for that and we'll get to that very soon. Stay with me. Since the pandemic shut down businesses worldwide, the Federal Reserve have printed trillions of dollars to keep the US economy afloat. This is when serious investors began adopting Bitcoin as a safe haven asset. And whenever Bitcoin rises, Altcoin rises too. Now, I know many of you like fidget spinners, but wait, it's 2021. Uh, I know many of you like to press on stuff. You know, there's a blue little button down there. You can press on it. It's pretty fun. The like button. Let's continue. Here's the first reason why Ethereum could overtake Bitcoin. Market cap. The most famous altcoin, second in value to only Bitcoin, is Ethereum. Ethereum currently controls 24% of the crypto market, compared to Bitcoin's 63%. It has some work to do, and every other altcoin has less than 3% market share. Just as a reminder, sometime during 2017, Ethereum was worth 82% of Bitcoin's market cap, with only $7 million left to soar past Bitcoin. Who's to say that it won't happen again. Because the more expensive Bitcoin becomes, the more investors begin to pour money into less expensive but equally or more promising altcoins, like Dogecoin. That's one potential driver behind Ethereum's speculative increase in market cap. Let's explore another one. Scalability. Bitcoin has a scaling issue. Every Bitcoin transaction is recorded on the blockchain, but each transaction or block is limited in size to one megabyte. Not to mention, it takes 10 minutes to create one block. So even though Bitcoin is bigger than ever, it's limited in how many transactions it can perform per unit of time. The more people transact with Bitcoin, the slower it becomes. Now, there's some logic behind this. The delay is there to give miners enough time to solve computer rational puzzles that verify the transactions. This is called proof of work, which maintains the reliability and accuracy of the blockchain. There have been proposals to increase the speed of Bitcoin transactions. The most famous one is called the Lightning Network. In short, it's a way for people to send Bitcoins to each other without having to rely entirely on the blockchain. This is how you'd use the Lightning Network. You open a payment channel, you pay a small fee on the blockchain, then you send the rest of the Bitcoin to your peer without having to verify it 
on the blockchain first. As long as you keep this channel open, you don't have to go through the blockchain to transfer Bitcoin. Sounds like a better user experience, right? But since Bitcoin is an open source project, a majority of its contributors have to agree on any proposed changes. And so far, the Lightning Network has not been widely adopted. Not just mention that miners are not incentivized to adopt the Lightning Network. Don't forget that miners make their money verifying blockchain transactions, which the Lightning Network would reduce. So I'm curious, what do you think is the correct way? Is it Lightning Network or perhaps proof of stake or some other web method? Comment down below. These features make Ethereum more scalable than Bitcoin by a long shot. Now, it might not be fair to say that scalability would be the reason why Ethereum could surpass Bitcoin, but what we'll talk about next will explain why it matters. Let's dive deeper into what needs each of them was built to solve. Use cases. The estimated value of the gold market is seven to nine trillion dollars. Bitcoin's current market cap is about 9% of that at $1 trillion and climbing. Although Bitcoin and Ethereum both uses cryptocurrency and blockchain technology, they are not the same. Bitcoin's purpose is becoming more of a store of value like gold or even a bank, while Ethereum is a world computer platform for decentralized applications, also called dApps. Decentralized applications are programs that run on the blockchain. Ethereum acts as a transaction and settlement layer between the application and the blockchain. Hundreds of dApps exist to do everything from trading, lending, saving, to gambling and crowdfunding. So when you hear all those people saying that Ethereum will overtake Bitcoin, it's often usage that they are talking about. Ex-Goldman Sachs executive Raul Pal argues that since Bitcoin can only be used as a store of wealth and medium of exchange, Ethereum's multifaceted nature should provide it with more adoption over time. Ethereum is already performing more than triple the transactions that Bitcoin does in a 24 hour period. There is a more heightened activity with Ethereum because of the vast ecosystem developers have built on the platform. Bitcoin does not have such a platform in place and it is not possible to build applications on top of Bi Bi Bitcoin like Ethereum. Interesting, but Hong Fang, CEO of crypto exchange OKCoin, is not as sold on the idea as Raul Pal is. Here's what Hong Fang has to say about it. I would disagree, but not with the fact that Ethereum has inferior technology than Bitcoin. I think those two are built for very different use cases. They are also in very different stages of development in their life cycle. Bitcoin was built as a store of value. Fang said. <laughs> it became French in the middle of it. Ethereum, on the other hand, is built to allow smart contracts in that people can actually build apps on top of it to really build interest, use cases in the crypto world. Okay, he probably not doesn't sound like that, but I really like the accent. So they're each built for a different purpose. That's what the experts can agree on, but not the future value of Ethereum. Will it go up? Will it go down? Speculation? Who knows? What do you guys think? Do you guys agree with Raul Pal that Ethereum's multiple use cases will be the main factor that drives more people to adopt it over Bitcoin? Or are you on team Hong Fang, believing that Bitcoin will continue to dominate the market as a store of value? Let us know in the comments below. I'm curious. Let's look at what the two cryptos aspire to achieve to get a better sense of which one will be the leading coin in the future. Bitcoin. Bitcoin is competing against existing money and gold to replace them with a truly global, decentralized, hello freedom currency. A, a global currency that allows individuals to own their own money without having to rely on national banks. Lower fees for transferring money across borders Financial stability for people who live in countries with unstable currencies, take Venezuela for example. In 2016, Venezuela's currency hit an inflation rate of, actually this is the first time reading on the, the script, 800%? Your money just vanishes. Now, a more recent example is the US. 
which has recently been printing money like there's no tomorrow. Not to mention, two thirds of the worldwide population has no access to banking or only limited access. Woo! Lucky you who live in Westworld country. Okay, that sounds promising. Now, let's have a look at Ethereum. Ethereum. What Bitcoin does for money, Ethereum does for contracts. Ethereum's innovation allows you to write smart contracts. It's basically a smart digital agreement, a smart contract. Don't worry, those of you that don't religiously follow the blockchain and its developments, I won't leave you hanging. A smart contract is a computer program or a transaction protocol that automatically executes, controls, or documents legally relevant events and actions according to the terms of an agreement. Let's illustrate this with an example. If I use a voting dApp, the smart contract within it guarantees that my vote is official and no one else can vote as me. We've even seen a few pilot states such as Utah using blockchain for their voting systems. However, many argue whether using this is safe enough yet. Up until now, we've carried out these agreements with a signature at the bottom of a paper document. Ethereum dramatically improved this age-old model because it is digital and proof of the transaction can never be deleted. If you ask me, Ethereum is solving a problem with more wide-ranging effects on the everyday life. Bitcoin aims to store value, while Ethereum aims to make every digital transaction more secure. So everything considered, will the flipping happen in 2021 or beyond that? Flipping 2021. We believe that the flipping will happen at some point, just not in 2021. Regular people and seasoned investors are just now starting to take Bitcoin and crypto seriously. We also believe many more companies are going to be converting some of their cash balances into Bitcoin. This will continue to drive up the price of both Bitcoin and Ethereum, but Bitcoin more so. But at the same time, more dApps will be built for all of the new crypto users, which will increasingly narrow the gap between Ethereum and Bitcoin. At a certain point, people will begin to realize that what's even more valuable than the machine is the machine that builds the machine. And that's when the flipping will be fulfilled. Ethereum will overtake Bitcoin as the world's most valuable cryptocurrency. This timeline could take anywhere between five to 10 years. At least that's the opinion I and many big names in crypto hold, or never. Because these things, it's like speculation, like gamble. Some believe. So who really knows? Thank you for tuning into this video. I know that that was a lot of information. So we'll recap the three reasons why Ethereum could overtake Bitcoin real quick. Investors flocking to buy a high potential undervalued coin. Bitcoin's scalability problem, which Ethereum does not have. The ability to build applications on top of Ethereum, which already drives much of the crypto ecosystem today and increasingly in the future. So if you want to see more videos just like this, slap that like and subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell so that you can watch our videos as soon as my beautiful face pops up. If you're looking for a way to buy crypto that's fast and easy with zero commissions, of course they earn money other ways, click our eToro link in the description below. Join our Discord server where we can talk stocks, crypto, and feel free to suggest video ideas you want to see in the future. My name is Joy from Student Invest. I will see you soon. Hey. 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 Hey.